Interesting news here with Ben Roethlisberger. So his season obviously came to an end on Sunday, one game short of the Super Bowl. Now people want to know if his Super Bowl window has closed. There was a multitude of guys that took uh, drastic steps, um, and that's very encouraging. Um, I know it hurts now and it should, but there are a lot of things uh, we can be optimistic about. But we got to grow from this. You don't just rest on this and think, oh, we can do the same thing. Uh, we got to um, take some steps and uh, get a lot better for next year. So Big Ben addressed his future with 93.7 The Fan saying, I'm going to take this offseason to evaluate, to consider all options, Ben told us, to consider health and family and things like that, and just kind of take some time away to evaluate next season if there's going to be a next season. Stephen A., what's your reaction? Nothing. Ben Roethlisberger ain't going anywhere. He still has some game left in them. He doesn't want to leave. Um, injuries obviously play a big, big role. This year he only missed two games. Last year he missed four. Um, it's one of those situations where you look at him, and the two seasons before that he played all 16 games. I think Ben Roethlisberger has to look in the mirror and ask himself a bigger question. Uh, it's not just about your health. It's about your level of productivity. Uh, you know, Martavis Bryant not being able to stay off the weed did not help. Le'Veon Bell missing the first game. The first four games due to his suspension, three games, I'm sorry, that, you know, because he got himself in trouble with the substance abuse program. That's an issue, too. I think you look at it and you're Ben Roethlisberger. You've graduated to a point where you don't feel like you should have to deal with some of the undisciplined issues that permeate around the franchise. You deserve the right to be insulated and protected in a fashion where the guys around you are held to such a heightened level of accountability that you don't have to worry about having to go out there bereft of, of the necessary weapons. In the same breath, we can't sit up here and ask ourselves and point out how Aaron Rodgers hasn't been back to a Super Bowl since 2010 when he won and ignore the fact that Ben Roethlisberger hasn't been back since he lost that same Super Bowl. There are expectations that we have of big Ben Roethlisberger, and as good as he is, there are some times where he's come up small, and we have to look at that as well. Um, he, he's going to ball. He's got more football left in him, but I don't know how much more. Uh, and partly that's because of his size and his style of play. You know, I wonder sometimes if there's too physically big and strong at quarterback. The way refs let people get away with stuff on Shaq, now it's happening with Cam, uh, maybe Andrew Luck. You know, the big, strong, you don't want a little guy who's too small to take the punishment, but a, sometimes a big, strong guy who has a, a, a not reckless style of play, but is the kind of guy who can take those shots. The rest let guys get away with a little bit more. And Ben Roethlisberger's style is to be able to take some of those shots anyway. He has, a, he has an injury kind of prone style of play. And, and you wonder how long he can take it. I don't think until he's 40. Well, I know we have to move on to him. How do you not find it concerning that he says if there is a season? He's never said that before, he's even in just in terms of his heart not being. Because, because I think when you lose in the fashion that they have lost, and you look at a Tom Brady that ain't going anywhere, and you're looking at that roadblock, it humbles you in that moment okay. when you lose. So maybe but he's in prisoner the end, of the moment. But it, that's right. But in the end, that competitive fervor kicks in. I think what you peel from this, if you're the Steelers, is we have to make sure we have the requisite parts. That offense is potent enough when all their weapons are in a row to make noise. Defensively, they do not measure up. Defensively, the Pittsburgh Steelers got completely exposed. And if you're Big Ben Roethlisberger, you got to sit up there and say to yourself, do I really want to subject myself sometimes, to this level of punishment if these guys can't get it done? Sometimes it's the way you lose. You know, if they would have mm -hmm. lost going out in a really tough AFC championship yep. game in overtime or late in the fourth quarter, it's a one-possession game, he maybe feels differently. But when you're humiliated... The, you got to an AFC championship yeah. game. That's a good season. But it's humiliating. But, but the way they yeah, lost probably has him feeling down about it. How do we it feel right about now? the Colts now, knowing that two years ago they lost 45-7 to in an AFC championship game? Well, how do we? You know what right. I'm saying? I mean, and, and it, it, it also <laughs> points out, though, maybe like Andrew Luck is really good. He can take an inferior team far. And as much talent as we think the Pittsburgh Steelers have, they are flawed in different ways. And maybe Roethlisberger is making up for some of that. We've got to leave it there.